well hello there guys how are you all doing welcome back to it another interesting video now this one here we have the samsung galaxy note 9 as you have probably guessed from the title of this video itself but still i get this question asked a lot like how to save the battery like what are the tricks that you can apply on a smartphone in order to get best battery optimization possible right which means more battery backup so how to obtain more battery backup on your smartphone now this is the samsung mobile phone i have right here this is the samsung galaxy note 9 and here you see one ui version 2.5 that's the latest one ui version this one is running on android 10 right now you may have any other samsung smartphone maybe the latest a series f series or any other series but this one works for pretty much almost all the samsung smartphones out there so make sure to watch the video till then have some really nice tricks that you can apply and see it for yourself i mean the result right so without wasting any more time let's get started with the tricks then the first thing that you want to do is go to settings here obviously and here you will find device care so let's go to device care and then tap on three dots here then we will go to advanced now here as you can see all the like switches are turned on i have turned it on because as you can see there is auto optimization which means the phone itself decides on which apps to forcibly close and which to not depending on what you are using how many apps you are using a day so all that uh, it takes into account and then optimizes the phone itself you can keep that option but if you are facing like too many problems you can switch that off as well but i recommend you keep that option if you just go ahead and tap on that as you can see close apps to free up memory make sure this switch is turned on by default probably it will be off and the time here as you can see it's 3 am which means every 3 am every day every early morning 3 am the mobile itself tries to optimize the applications and it closes several apps in order to free up the memory now that's again nice trick by the one ui version of course if you have got the redmi or realme or any other like oppo or vivo phones i'll make separate videos about the battery optimization but this one is for samsung users so as you can see there is auto restart again i would suggest you keep this one to like any days maybe you can keep it to every day i have set it to like friday every friday at 3 am the phone auto restarts uh, which means there will be like a lot of optimization with respect to cpu usage as well as it frees up some memory as well so make sure you do that as well and there is this optimized settings by default it will be i think turned on on your mobile phone as well but if you go ahead and check this one there is reduced brightness let's say your phone is using too many apps or uh, there is a lot of heat caused by some applications obviously that time if you check this one reduce brightness the phone tries to optimize the brightness and then cools down with the temperature so that again helps you perform the apps very fast as well as it gives more battery backup so that is how it optimizes to give more battery backup again there is screen timeout you can set it manually in the brightness setting as well in display i have kept it to like 15 or 30 seconds usually for this video i'm keeping it for 10 minutes so that it just won't turn off and as you can see media volume of course you can do it by changing the media volume buttons the basic thing here is to like reduce brightness as well as screen timeout so make sure you are keeping it based on your liking again there is auto scan for malware make sure you have turned this on as well so these are little four things that makes you like save a quite a few percentage of battery and it matters a lot as well right because we are talking about the battery all right moving on with the second setting again inside the device care itself there is battery here obviously and as you can see uh, with this usage i have been getting like 11 hours 30 minutes left with the 94 percentage battery left again if you just tap on power mode i think you will be knowing about this optimized high performance medium power saving as well as maximum power saving i don't have to explain otherwise you can also keep it uh, like adaptive power saving turned on by default the phone optimizes everything for you and it tries to save the battery but this option if it isn't working fine for you for my mobile phone it isn't working fine because it consumes a lot of battery itself so i have turned it off but if based on your application usage if it works for you that's fine you just turn on for a few days and see it for yourself if it helps then keep it on otherwise you can turn this off as you can see i've kept it to optimize this is the best thing that you can do don't keep it to high performance because the optimized one works a lot better like if you are playing continuously gaming and you feel any stutter only then you can change it to high performance so that's how you can save let's say the battery percentage is like 10 or 20 percent and you're out of battery very soon then make sure you keep it to maximum power saving that will help you save a lot of battery and probably you can use it for five to six hours more when the battery percentage is almost dying 
so again that's how you can save the battery by changing the settings over there so again as you can see here we have the app power management now this is where you can control pretty much everything about the applications how it works what apps to use and what to forcibly stop the apps or stop it from running background again a very important thing that you have to change some settings over here as you can see i have kept it to adaptive battery it's turned on put unused apps to sleep yes because if you don't use the app you want it to sleep and not run in the background and consume a lot of battery right so make sure you have turned this on and there is sleeping apps now here it will tell you what are the apps that are sleeping which means that are forcibly stopped so by default there will be some apps but if you are like not using many apps let's say motion leap app i don't use it often so what i do is to just go ahead tap on plus mark if you don't find that app over here you will find it over here just say let me just tap on this one tick mark so whatever apps you don't use it often you can just go ahead and keep checking the box and then tap add so again that apps will be put to sleep so again a nice thing that is over here there are also deep sleeping apps which means again it's sort of uh, force closing the application itself but it won't allow any updates or rather any notifications to pop up from that app so again as you can see there are few apps that are into this deep sleeping apps again you can just go ahead and like whatever app you feel should be here just tap on those and then tap on add so that's how you can quickly put apps to sleep which is very very important apps that won't be put to sleep which means it can uh, be allowed to run in the background depending on uh, what you have set the settings so again only one app is set for apps that won't be put to sleep again you can add it over here like if you are regularly using any app that you can the ram is not managing properly so whenever you go to recent you won't find the previously worked app so you can just go ahead and add those apps over here so it manages ram properly again these are very important things that you need to change the another thing is really important over here which we will go into settings and apps so tap this to app again now whatever app you are not using on a regular basis so it's very important let's say i don't use this airtel extreme app often right so what i will do is to force stop this app and the important thing to do here is to go to battery here which is located here so here allow background activity now it is restricted by default suppose if this one is turned on make sure you turn that off a lot of apps by default it will be turned on so make sure you turn that off this will optimize a lot so that's how you can save a lot of battery uh, when you just turn on all those apps which are not of much use right so you don't want these apps to be running in the background that again consumes a lot of battery so that's the trick over here so whatever apps you don't use it often let's say uh, we have the amoled wallpaper so i'll just go ahead and tap on this one and make sure that this one is restricted right so i don't want this to be running in the background so make sure you turn off for any apps that you won't use it often of course you can just go ahead and uh, open the app and it works just fine so we are just trying to optimize battery and save as much as possible so that's how you can change the battery settings over there uh, make sure you do it for all the applications that you don't use it often again lastly guys there is developer options over here if you don't know how to get the developer options on your phone just go to settings about phone on software information you can just keep tapping the keep tapping the build number like for five to six times continuously the developer option gets turned on here as you can see i've got it on i'll just go ahead in the developer options make sure the animation scale is set to very minimum so as you can see we have the window animation scale transition animation scale animator duration scale so i have set all this one to 0.5x i'll just show you what happens if i set to 5x right so if i just go ahead and tap on like any apps you see how the animation works it just consumes a lot of maybe battery as well along with the effects it makes the phone slow down a lot so what i would do is to set it to 0.5x we just don't want to turn the animation off because it looks cool if you have a little bit of animation over there so that's how i have kept here for all the thing 0.5x as you can see my phone works just fine and it's pretty fast as you can see 
even the RAM management is really nice. So this is how you save some battery by changing the settings which are really important. I hope this video helped you. Make sure to leave a comment and tell me like if this worked for you. If you have got any issues, let me know that as well. All right guys, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. I've made several interesting videos about the mobile tips and tricks and several other related to like photography and videography as well. So make sure to watch the video on my channel. Hit that like button if you like these kind of videos and don't forget to click on that subscribe button. I will see you all in another one. Till then take care everyone. Bye bye.